Okay, if you take the blower cover off and flip it around, uh, you'll have this service code. Um, and on your board, you see that little LED down there when it's on, it'll flash um, certain codes to you to tell you what it's doing. When you turn it on, when you turn the furnace on, and you can do that by clicking that little switch there. I held it down with some tape. Um, it'll flash certain codes. So the first flash, uh, the first digit is determined by short flashes or quick flashes and the second is long flashes. So when it starts up you see it blinks one short flash and then two long flashes which means 12 and that's just the startup. And then after that um, it tries to work but it can't so it's flash it starts to flash 34 that's three long flashes sh uh, four um, no sorry three short flashes four long flashes and uh, it tells you it'll try three more times before it goes into lockout which would then be code number 14 it's you know uh, one short flash and three lo or four long flashes anyway um, so it gives you all these things down here that could be the problem things you can check um, so check to see if the flame sensor is not uh, um, it says it must not be grounded that's the first one um, or check if oxide buildup is on the flame sensor. Okay, so that's the flame sensor senses flames. And that's this thing right here. It looks just like a bent wire in there. You can kind of see it. So they're saying that that can get built up with, you know, soot and carbon or whatever. And it, if it can't uh, communicate to the board that it senses flames this thing will shut off so that it's not just spewing gas into your house well we ran this and it no flames came so that's uh, it's not even getting to that stage so let's see what's next um, proper uh, flame sense micro amp. so there's the the reading it should give you that reading gas valve defective or gas valve turned off. Um, this is the gas valve. It was working because uh, I could smell all the gas coming out when it was trying. So I know we're getting gas. Uh, here we are again. Um, manual valve shut off. Again, we're, I'm smelling gas. This would be the manual valve. You'll have a few of them. So this is going bring gas in the furnace. If I turn, you'll know if these are open. This is an open valve, meaning it's flowing. If the lever is ever perpendicular to the pipe, that means it's shut off. So this is open, open. And you might have it shut off on the outside of your house too. These could be kind of in different spots uh, on your property. Um, Defective hot surface igniter, the igniter, which is what I think the problem is. If if you noticed when this uh, turned on and went through its cycles like it was starting to uh, start up, this should have started glowing. As soon as the gas starts coming, then the igniter needs to turn on. And nothing, you, do, you should see something glowing hot. Uh, orange and, and you know like a little bulb turning on basically that gets really hot and it ignites the gas and that didn't work so I'm guessing that's the problem what else could it be um, low gas pressure right if it's not getting enough gas uh, it could uh, cause problems but again that never started glowing so we didn't even get to that stage and uh, tell you to connect the um, 
wiring. Anyway, so let's uh, pull out this igniter and see what we can do. Because this covers off, this switch is open so this unit's turned off, but there's also an additional off right there, so that cut the power to the whole thing. Okay, these are the wires right here. So, usually on the, these furnaces, uh, you know how you have these screwdrivers with changeable tips? The uh, one that fits is no tip, you just take it out. And that's usually the same size as these. You wiggle it and pull it toward you. Um, right there, you can see where the uh, light part is, and then the split. And then I uh, broke it again. It doesn't really matter since it was busted anyway. But these are really brittle, so you can easily damage these. So, um, but here, let's focus again. See right there in the middle is where it was cracked. Okay, here's the uh, broken igniter. You can see the model numbers here if we can get it to focus. And that says Norton 271M. It's a little hard to read. Um, but Bringing it back here, more of the element broke it off. These are very brittle. Anyway, so we got a replacement. This is, is called a universal. And there's the info on that. So it's not an exact match. You can see that it doesn't have the bracket, so we have to swap the bracket, take it off. And also it doesn't have the connectors. So what we'll do to get the connectors is cut them off here and strip them. There we go. So now we can add this to this. So one thing though, when you buy these will give you a heads up is um, it's actually pretty cool looking purple and glittery it's kind of cool um, they warn you just like uh, what is it halogen bulbs don't get don't touch it because if your oil on your skin gets on there it can they said explode but what that I don't know it'll probably just shorten the life and make it crack faster. So I'm just going to cap this together. And this piece only turns on and off um, when needed on the furnace. It doesn't stay running. It uh, gets power when it needs to ignite the gas. Once the gas is lit, this thing shuts back off. Okay, so there we go, right onto the connector. Now, um, there's no positive and negative for elements like this, so it doesn't matter which way you hook it up. So now let's uh, take off this piece. Okay. So now this is ready to install, so I'll bring it back and we'll put it in. Alright, that's the trickiest part of the whole thing. You want to be able to get that in and uh, not break it when you're putting it in on 
these at the ends of these uh, little burner tubes there. So the last thing I'm going to do, hook this back up here, and then tuck the wires in a little bit. It's not. There we go. That's good enough. All right, now we put the whole thing back together and see how it works. Okay, I'm going to put on the cover. I want to be careful not to pinch these wires here. Okay, so we'll flip this switch on on the side. So right now the blower is just kicking on. Which is down here. Then this exhaust blower kicks on. Alright, now we have the ignition. Now we should see some gas. There we go.